You are watching a master at work. A new extremely easy unlimited credits glitch that you can take advantage of right now on Starfield. I need your help to break a shadow ban that I have right now on my channels on YouTube. All you have to do is like the video, comment as many times as you possibly can, and let the video play out all the way through. I'm also giving away a free PS4 with a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to choose the winner out of the comment section of a series of 20 videos. We're on video number 15, 14 more to go. Let's get right on into it. This is also a ship duplication glitch. Pay attention. Make your way to any shipyard and talk to the guy that's working there and ask to modify one of your ships. Basically, we're going to duplicate one of our ships, preferably one that's fully upgraded or modified to your liking, but you're going to have to duplicate it over top of a ship that's right next to it, either to the left or to the right. Preferably, you're going to want a really expensive ship right next to a cheaper one. As you can see here, I've got a cheaper ship, the Sparrow, in slot 9 of 10, and then right next to it, I have a more expensive cargo ship, the Polis, in slot 10 of 10. From being highlighted over the more expensive ship, we would have to tap LB to get to the cheaper one. Be aware that you are going to have to be on controller to do this glitch for some reason it does not work with keyboard and mouse so if you're on console you're good if you're on pc connect the controller to your pc while you're highlighted over the more expensive ship, what we're going to do now is tap LB and X at the same exact time to go to the ship builder. For those of you on PlayStation, that's L1 and Square. You want to make sure that you're not holding the buttons in. It's just a quick tap at the same exact time of both buttons. Once you've done this, you should be inside of the ship builder, and now all we have to do is make a single change to the ship, whether it's moving an item around, removing an item, or adding an item to the ship. After you've done so, press B to back out of it, and then accept the changes you have made to the ship. Once you've done this, you'll now see that you have duplicated that ship. So I now have the polis in slot 10 of 10 and 9 of 10 as well. Again, these ships could be heavily modified with the most expensive and glitch parts if you would like before actually duplicating them. You can also sell the ships if you'd like to make some immediate money off of them, or you could just hold on to them and then sell them at a later date whenever you're in a crunch for money, if ever the current money glitches get patched up. Now be aware that if you spend any money with the ship vendor, whether it be on ships themselves or custom modifications for the ships, you can get your money back if you're at the ship vendor in Jameson by glitching out under the map and robbing his chest. You can also use the undermap glitch that's in the Narian solar system at the Stroud Eklund starship if you just happen to be there using the ship vendor that's at that location. I've got a separate video talking about that. That's the 162k chest. That'll be linked down in the description below. And the one for Jameson, how to glitch out under the map and rob his chest, is going to be linked as well. That's the 72k chest glitch. Also, link down in the description below as well. And every other video that I've made on Starfield are all going to be in the description. So be sure to check out all the other videos and all the other glitches while they're still working. As always, I appreciate you all for tuning in and I appreciate the continued support. Consider subscribing if you'd like to help the channel grow. Drop a big fat like on the video and let me know you did in the comments below. It's your boy, Jay Stowe, and I'm gone. Subscribe on Daddy's channel.